Hi everybody, uh, I am making this video today. I have been wanting to make it for a while and uh, now today I, I find that uh, one another person, another weirdo of mine are feeling not very good so I felt like why not do it today on Valentine's Day because it's a day where we should think about everyone we love. We should do that every day but Valentine's Day is... I don't feel like Valentine's Day just need to be about love between a couple or something. I feel like it can be between friends or family or whatever. And I see my weirdos as my internet family in a way. Because I feel like I can talk to you every time I'm down. I can talk to you when I'm happy. I always want to share my news with you. I love talking to you. And I'm so glad that I have this outlet. Because without this outlet I really don't know where I would have been today. Because YouTube has given me... A feeling of having friends without having to meet friends and having a social network without having a real life social network so a few months back I found out that one of my weirdos are going through something really 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 hard it's one of my most loyal weirdos if you can say so has been with me for a long time and has been very nice and very supportive of me and he's going through something that is terrible that I can't imagine going through and it has something to do with the loss of a life that's close to him. I'm not going to name names and I'm not going to talk about what kind of a loss it is. But it's really, really heartbreaking and really, really hard. And uh, I missed that person in the comment section and I felt like something wasn't right. I got really worried that something had happened to him. So I reached out and uh, I found out what was up. And it broke my heart, to be honest. I... Recently lost, last year I lost two of my friends, um, both really good friends, but one really close to me, which was Louise, I talked about her before, and I think about her almost every day, and I still feel like it's not real, like she's still out there, because we didn't meet a lot, we were talking a lot on the internet, but she was still one of my closest most dear friends that I felt very protective over so it was hard when she passed so I know about loss and I know about sadness I lost some I lost my grandma mothers and fathers and I guess grandma grandfathers and everything so I know about loss but I know I don't know about exactly the loss that he is going through or you I hope you're watching this because I'm talking to you and if anyone else is going through loss too and then we have another weirdo of mine, very, very close weirdo of mine that I feel like is family to me too. It's going through something I found out yesterday and it, actually this morning. Um, nothing to do with a loss of a life like that, but a loss of like security and safety. And I know all about that too, how that feels like. And... I talk to all the weirdos out there that are going through something that I don't know about. I want you to know that it is okay to feel sad. It is okay to feel like I want to give up. I have given up. It is okay. But you kind of need to have to start, keep continuing moving forward. It doesn't matter if you crawl. It doesn't matter if you walk or run or, or beating your way to get to where you need to be. But just keep breathing. If you just keep breathing, everything in time will heal. Everything in time will sort it, sort itself out. I'm not saying that it will heal fully. Your heart will heal fully from the loss of your loved one, for example. Because there it will, will always be a grief there. But it will also be happiness and nice memories and fun times that you can think back on. And don't feel guilty if you do don't feel guilty if you laugh one day or if you smile thinking about that person or the thing that you did before because we need that we can't be in the dark hole of grief for the rest of our lives it doesn't work like that we need to keep on living and if you don't if you don't feel like you can live for yourself live for the person you are missing live for him or her live for what like see the world with their eyes what, what, what would they have wanted to look at? And I know it's very sad if you go to a place and you feel like, oh, like for me, oh, Louisa would have loved this. 
it is sad but in a way it's very beautiful that you can experience it and i know i'm sure that people are looking down on us from heaven so they are seeing it with you but you just you can't just see how they react to it and it sounds such cliche and it sounds so weird and odd but i i am it will get better it will be easier and i don't just don't want you to feel any guilt when it does get easier that person would have wanted it to be easier for you and if you feel depressed any of you if you feel like you lost your security or safety whatever last year i did the same i didn't have a home i didn't have any income at zero dollars zero, zero dollars coming in i had i didn't have a home i had a home i went to my parents to live there but i didn't have my own place but i'm at least i had them so i wasn't homeless but you know what i mean and i didn't know how it would ever solve itself out but it did somehow and it does it always does i can't say when i can't say how but it will and if you feel like you're losing it you're sad i will never say don't think about it because i know how that feels and you all you do is think about it but just try to try to have a little faith even though it's hard i thought it was very very hard but somewhere in my head i had a faith that it will solve itself out somehow and it has for me i lived my teenage years almost every teenage year not wanting to live and it was very close to me that i didn't live uh, through them a lot of times and today i'm like we can't think like that even if we think like that don't do anything about it because if i i said it before but if i've we have such long lives we don't know what happens tomorrow next week next month or next year if i wasn't alive today i had never i had never had the possibility to meet my daughter who makes every day so worth it and if you don't have that find it in some other things or some other people like just know that anything can happen and if you don't live from now you you can't experience it and now i feel bad for talking about that when i know one of you lost someone dear to you but i just mean don't stop living yourself because you have all these great things to look forward to. So you have to keep living. Even if that other person don't. Because your life is something. Your life is worth something. And you will experience all these things. So don't give up on yourself. Nobody would have wanted that. Nobody. Look at your... I don't know what everything whatever makes you happy look at your favorite movie at your favorite go to the theaters what what's your favorite play what's your favorite youtuber talk to your favorite friend look at your daughter or or wife or husband or brother or or neighbor whoever you really like and just feel like i'm gonna live this is this just is, it doesn't make any sense and i don't even know if i just make it worse for people but i just want to tell you all weirdos out there you mean so much to me and when you're sad it breaks my heart and i want to do something and i don't have the possibility to do something i don't have the funds to send you money if money is what you need i don't have the possibility to come there and give you a hug and say everything is gonna be okay but I, this is all I have and I hope even, I hope I don't make it worse. I hope I give you some kind of hope or happiness because you deserve it. You deserve your life. You deserve to be happy. And I want you to know that just keep breathing. It will be better. Just keep walking. It will be better. I believe in you so hard and 
I love you and I am happy that you are part of my YouTube family and I don't want you to go through crap, but you do through life. And when these things happen, I always think, like, I, I wish I could take their pain, but I can't. You have to go through it yourself, but I can be here, here as a friend, so you know where I am. Write me if you need to. Write in the comment section, we have the best support system here. Everyone is so loving on this channel. Write it and people will answer. I love this community just because of that. And I don't know, I just blab. I just blab. And I don't know if this makes any sense. But all I want to say is that I love you. And just keep fighting. Just keep walking. Everything will be better. Okay? Promise me love you i'm sorry if i made anything worse i just want to give my support and i just want to cheer you on because come on we, we can do life i've been miserable my entire life and now i actually do feel kind of happy for the first time in my life and uh, i know you can too okay love you sorry tell me if i should remove this okay keep fighting bye